Are we live? We are live. Hello, everybody. Ah, oh, welcome. Welcome to my cave on this smoky. Uh, it is very smoky outside. I think the the smoke levels are finally going down after days and days and days of uh, really abysmally toxic levels of particulates in the air. Everything in San Francisco is covered with ash. It is uh, very. It's very strange. It is very, very strange. And last week, San Francisco did an unbelievable cosplay as Blade Runner 2049. So full marks to California for breaking out the, the, the summer con season with, uh, with a full weather-based cosplay. Yeah, I know. That's dark. Uh, okay, so I'm going to set this up. So I have text. Cool. Kayla, I'm ready to receive text when you... You're ready to send them. So uh, we're going to start. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are going to start today with a, uh, a, a one day, a quick build. Um, I have here some lovely parts and pieces, Lego pieces. And this is a build invented by a fan. Oh, my goodness. His name again? Steam Paul is the Lego aficionado who is responsible for the pile of Legos in front of me and the fast and furious 56 page instruction manual here. And I'm going to put this together. Um, we have, uh, we've already teased what it is. It's, it's, it's going to be my rickshaw, my spot rickshaw, which is not here because this space is too small. Um, in fact, I will tell you that when I was um, ideating the, the rickshaw, and various members of the tested team um, became aware of just how big the rickshaw was going to be. Everyone only wanted to know, um, uh, where, where is this going to live? <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> Which is a really valid question. And right now it's in my storage space. I have a, I have a, a reasonably sized storage space here in the mission, not too far from my shop. Mm. And I was not able to bring the rickshaw out in time. But we are going to enjoy a virtual rickshaw here with this beautiful Lego build. Um, it is... Ah, right. And I wanted to talk about... I wanted to use this build to talk a little bit about fair use, copyright, uh, transformative artwork, and try and just help um, advance the discussion about culture. Because this is what's... This is a classic transformative thing, right? I, I built and designed that rickshaw from scratch from my brain. So by default, by US law, I hold a copyright on that design. Now, this uh, uh, Steam Paul who put this together, I there are so many occasions of people suing each other for copyright violations in cases where there is no violation. Um, and if I got bent out of shape about Steam Paul taking my design and making a Lego kit out of it, I don't, Personally, I don't think I have a leg to stand on because one of the tests for copyright is uh, it's not just an imitation of the work. Is it a tr is it a transformation of the work? And that's the copyright looks at these things in terms of culture. Is this advancing our culture or is it just moving laterally and someone else is trying to make money on someone else's dime? And the fact is, is the transformation, which is to take the design I did and put it into Lego, that's a fundamentally different medium, a fundamentally different execution, and it is completely within fair use. So there shouldn't be any issues about it. But copyright is one of the most misunderstood, misunderstood uh, things on the web, and it behooves us all to have reasonable discussions about it. Um, because it's really important. It is really important, one, that creators get paid for their work for a period of time. Not too long, not Disney long, not Mickey Mouse long, Sonny Bono law long, but a reasonable amount of time. But then after that, it's really important that that work transfers into the public trust so that we can then explore that sort of thing. Okay, there's my little upfront copyright rant, and there'll probably be some questions later. I, I'm not an expert in copyright law, not by any means, but it is a particular sort of obsessive bailiwick of mine, and I pay a lot of attention to it because actually to me uh copyright law dovetails really importantly with privacy law which dovetails with our actual genuine real personal liberty um the you know uh, 
some people's ideas of how to enforce copyright law <laughs> violate all sorts of uh, uh, all sorts of chunks of uh, of the Bill of Rights. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my rant. Now I'm going to build. Here we go. Step one. Uh, let's see. I need. This is clearly generated by the Lego build software, which is really cool. Amazing that one can do this nowadays. And I am looking for. Let's see. I'm looking for a yellow. Ah, there it is. The yellow slinky hat. And I'm looking for three of those little lanterns. That's what I. These little one. Here it is. These little one by ones with the exterior pips on all four sides. I think of those as lanterns because they look like lanterns. Okay, so one and two and that and that and then another one. The monologue of my building Lego is always the same. It's always that and that and this and this and this to that. Okay, on to step two. Now, two. Oh, a one by one. Smooth tile, smooth tile. Uh, another one by two smooth tile. And then a little grippy grabber. Okay. Oh, and then I guess I do the same thing on the other side. Wait. Oh, it's the three on the other side. There we go. That's why I was confused. Now, we have, this goes on an angle, but this is fascinating. I, so I'm not sure what, I really don't know what part of the build I'm currently building, what, what part of the rickshaw, so I'm kind of curious. Okay, so that connects to that, and then that connects to the pistol. Oh, that's neat. And then... That connects to another one of those. Oh, I do this multiple times. Oh, this is spot that I'm building. <laughs> I'll bet there's a 4X here somewhere. No, okay, but I'm building, yeah, okay. So I'm building several of these, one, two, three, and then one, two. I bet my friends at Boston Dynamics were watching this and going, you dummy, you're building Spot. Can't you tell? Spot. I know, COVID's been boring for Spot. I apologize for that. Um, we want to get going with some more Spot videos. It's just such a, um, what we'd set up was such a, a set of collaborations. And the one thing that COVID made difficult was collaboration. <laughs> uh, but... He is still an amazing piece of machinery and deserves uh, a, a wider and more variegated skill base. And I aim, I aim to achieve that for Spot before too long. I love the word variegated. Okay, so, uh, right. We do, that's one. Oh, this is a lovely little spot. This is great. Oh. Yep, there's that, and then this actually does feel a lot like Spot. Look at that. There he is. Wah, 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 wah. I, I didn't mean to give the wah, 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 but da, da, da. <laughs> Ta -da. Okay, so I've gone ahead, done all four legs. Yep, great. Now, stand up on your own. Stand up for yourself. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. We've got Let's see. Oh, I fascinating. So with this software doesn't necessarily okay, so one and two. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And wow, what is oh fascinating. I haven't even seen that part. Uh, building with Legos is so relaxing. It was funny, though, as I sorted out the Legos and I would talk to people about it. They're still from a certain number of people. There still was like the, there still was a little bit of, uh, uh, oh, you're still building with Legos, are you? <laughs> the answer is, yep, 
still building with Legos, still one of the kings of all toys. I've said there is a, on Twitter, there's somebody who every time I post a, a, a build of frequently castigates me, this person for playing with childish things. I find it entertaining that they follow me in order to correct me. Uh, clearly they have my well-being at heart. <laughs> One of those. And then, oh, okay. So I turn this over like that. And I use two of these. One. These are fascinating. These are one by threes with two pips centered on them. That's really neat. Okay. And I have these guys. No, oh, and dose. Oh, and ye oldy laser guns. That's what I think of this part as. Wait, where's it? There it is. I think of this, this part, that to me is a laser gun because those were the laser, those were the guns on the early uh, space program, uh, the uh, NASA space Legos in the 80s. Okay, one. This is literally like each instruction is like one or two pieces. There's one there, and then there's another there. I mean, I get why the software does this. It really wants to make sure it doesn't miss anything, and that makes sense. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, there's some, you know, I. one of the things about Lego design that's amazing is the, is the memory of Lego designers for all the different parts and pieces that they can use to solve an engineering problem. That's the part that blows my mind. Oh, look, he's even done. We've got some little color variants. Clearly, I'm making the seat here, and we've got this little brown color variants because of the decoration. Okay. So I don't quite understand that. Oh, right. It's because I... Right. Okay, I just got ahead of myself. That's all. I recently did a Lego one day build of the Razor Crest, which we'll put up soon. Um, but one of the one of the things that I I came up with some suggestions for Lego about chiral builds, like the two, like the the legs of Spot here, they're bilaterally symmetrical. And like whenever you have to build the same thing multiple times in Lego, it always says like four X, so you know to build it four times. But when something's chiral, when it's a mirror image of each other, they often just walk you through those same steps again. They don't let you know it's coming. And that, I tend to get a little bent out of shape about that. So I always like to know when I'm doing a build that's like that, and then I can set them up and do them. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. This guy comes up here. And then a second one by one. Right. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna do the canopy. Yep, saw that one coming. Interesting. Okay, one, two, there it is, three, and turning it over. Ooh, this brown. I know that this is not a common color because I was when I was sorting out my Legos, I ended up with some very small amounts of surprising colors. And there is a particular green for which there's all, very few pieces. Um, but the multicolors, it's the, um, the source of all of my su super weird and esoteric multicolored pieces is without a doubt the uh, yellow submarine build. All right. And what is that thing? Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, that's like they've done a little lantern there. That's so cute. That, hey. Hey, don't you fall. Okay. So I'm going to little, little dangly earrings. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. I'll bet there's, yeah, I see how this is going. It's walking me through one side, but I can tell it's the same for both. So 
we're going to do that and that and that because they're the same. And then, right, I've got these Technic struts. And look at that. They come right on there. It doesn't look like they attach to anything. That's cool. All right. Oh, nice. And those guys. Dude, this actually looks like they're very respectable and lovely rickshaw. Yep, another. Oh, right. The long, the long arms of the rickshaw. And got the little grabbers out there. Oh, nice. And then that, I'll bet this goes right here. That's cool. I know the resolution on this is not as high as I would like either, but such as it is. Yep. Yep. And then the, and then the wheels, the wheels go here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's just another view, and then it connects up to Spot, and then there's just one last picture of Spot. So here we go. There it is, and then Spot comes on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm missing one piece. I'm missing one piece. What is this one piece? Oh, it goes over here on the other side of Spot. It's the diagonal yellow coat covering. Okay, so that, and then Spot. I want to use a blank sheet of paper so you can clearly see it. And I think, on the, nope, everything's covered. Okay. There we are. Look at that lovely. There we go. I'm going to give you a, a better view. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. That is beautiful. Um, St Steam, Paul, thank you. This is freaking delightful. This will get a pride of place. We'll post a picture of it in my, in my cabinet of Lego builds. I am, I am not going to dismantle. Uh, and uh, I will see if I can't find a minifig of me to stand next to this. That is just gorgeous i love that all righty there we go it's super super lovely um and uh oh yeah since uh since the last um since the last live stream i did since the last time anyone's seen a picture of me i went and got a haircut it was an outdoor haircut it was all safe everyone was wearing masks Man, I am so happy to have all of this matter removed from the top of my head. I, I, it doesn't it doesn't have any bearing upon my ability to make stuff, but for some reason, all that hair it gets in my way, man. It's very nice to be rid of it. This video was made possible by Tested Channel Membership. Click join below to learn more about this channel membership. It's a brand new way for you to support us, interact with us, and to help us make the great content that you love to watch and that we so dearly love to make.